What's up guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make functions inside of a Minecraft behavior pack. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create a new folder on your desktop, name it whatever you want. So that's going to be the folder that your pack is going to be inside of. So next you're going to want to open up the folder, create a new folder inside of that, call it functions, then open up the functions folder, create a new text document in that. You can name it whatever you want. Just make sure the file extensions .mc function, just like that. Click yes. Um, if you can't see the .txt, just click view, show, and then show file name extensions. Then you can just double click on this. It's going to open up in whatever text editor you have as your default. Then you can just put it whatever you want. So let's just say, say hi. There. Done. Save. That's your function. When you run that in game, it'll say, say hi. Next, you're going to need a manifest. So let's go look for one online. Um, we can just do behavior uh, pack manifest. Look that up on Google. Just click the first one. doesn't really matter. You just want to find one. Here you go. So copy that. Head over to here. Create a new folder. Same way you created the functions, we're going to call it manifest. And then instead of .mc function, you're going to want .json. Um, you're going to drag that into your main folder. Double tap on that. It'll open the same way your file extension, or the same way your, uh, your function opened. Then you can just paste in that first part. Then you can go to description, just rename it, whatever you want. Make sure these two, uh, there's going to be two description entries, just put them as the exact same thing. I don't know why there's two, maybe you can Google that. Then for the name, you're going to put whatever, we'll just put hate is cool. Then you're going to need two UUIDs, you can grab those from the internet, you just type in UUID generator. Um, this one works fine, make sure you generate a version 4, version 1 will not work, so that is important. Then you're going to put your first one, you're going to paste it into this UUID entry. Then you're going to create a separate one, make sure it's not the same. And then paste that into this UUID entry. Uh, actually, this template is for... Okay, There's, you're going to need three. Um, that's on me. Maybe your manifest might be different. Mine's this. It doesn't matter if it's two, three. It has to be two though. Okay, once that's done, you're just gonna highlight those, both the manifest and the functions folder. Compress to zip file, rename that whatever you want. And then instead of uh, .zip, you wanna say MC pack. Yes, confirm it, and then double tap on that. It'll load up Minecraft. As soon as you click it, it just starts Minecraft. That's how it works. You're gonna wait for Minecraft to load up, and then it'll say, uh, your pack's imported. I'll show you that once Minecraft loads up. I'm too lazy to cut it, so you're going to have to wait a sec. There you go. Import started. And then it's going to be a missing icon for the pack, but that's just because I didn't add one. Then you can create a new fold or a new world. Put it on creative. I put it on flat just because that's how I like to put them. This will be your pack. Uh, it'll be the one with the squares like this because we didn't put a thing um mine we're, i had a dependency on it yours won't have this if it does just click continue it doesn't matter and then create the world and you're gonna want to wait for this to generate uh, again i'm too lazy to cut it so you guys can just chill here with me as it loads um all right it didn't take very long then you type function and then your function should pop up if it doesn't you did something wrong go watch the video again then you can just click enter, it'll say boom, hi. It executes the function as the person who runs it. So like if there's another person in here and you execute it as them, let's say their name was test, you could execute the function as them and then it would say that they ran it. There's no one in here, so that's why it says no target smash selector. And that's about it. So if you have any questions, you can go in the comments, ask whatever you want. Uh, I might not get to you right away, so be patient. You can also message me on Discord. It's love, hashtag 1000. Hope you guys have a nice day. See ya.